Okay, so today I'm going to take care of this. Um, it's leaking. So I'm going to take it off, take it out, and reseal it. I'm going to use this, um, this mastic sealing tape or sealing strip, although it's a bit wide, it's 32mm, I think I probably only need about 16 for that, so I might just cut that in half uh, and use that for, for going round the, the outside, but I'll see what the original the original width is. Uh, I don't want to put too much on, I want to just seal this up because these are going to get replaced, they've just, uh, it's just given up the ghost a wee bit earlier than I, than I thought it would, so I've been catching a wee bit of water. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's a drip right there, that sort of, yeah, anyway, so that's today's job, get that out and get it sealed, get it put back in again. <laughs> see this is the insulation material with the actual roof um, it's nice and dry actually and um, it's no wet at all so however the water's getting in I don't exactly know where but it's certainly gathering at this corner here yeah, it's a little bit wet you can feel it it's wet there so um, I think we're quite lucky and there's no damage to this at all really once that's out um, that should dry out pretty well this, this, this actually looks like old damage so it's probably been uh, going for a wee while so what I'm going to do is release these one two three four four screws and uh, hopefully um, it's just seal it that's holding that down after that So all released. So basically what's holding that now is the actual seal. Uh, feels like silicon up there. I don't know if you can see that in there. But I think that's silicon seal. It's as tough as old boots. So it's gonna be a laugh getting that off. And then I'll need to clean it and then we'll need to seal it. So I think it's uh, up on the roof time. Right, just open this up, both sides, and we'll take it from there, from the outside. Oh, that feels like it's going to be a nightmare to get off. You want to get all traces of the silicon, all the old silicon off. You really need to get everything off, otherwise that could cause leaks. Because your new teeth have got to be uh, on the original surface. You see that? Doesn't look like it's much there, but actual fact, there's still plenty. 
So I'm just using this to sort of try and wear it away a wee bit. Just take it off the just to get it off the aluminium. Looks like this roof used to be a nice cream colour at some point. When it was new. I don't know what colour you would call it now. I think for this residual stuff, I'm just going to get some uh, a good cloth and some WD-40. It actually takes this off quite well. This thin stuff. These window wipes, which apparently take off silicon. I don't know if it means hard silicon or anything. So that seems to work pretty well. Okay. You can see there is a lot of residue there to get off all this discoloured stuff. So a bit of WD forty. Helps just get rid of that. See it just flaking off. I'm only using a bit of a kitchen roll. Okay. Okay, that's it clean. Nice and cleaned up. Even now I can still feel wee bits in places. Look at that. Even though it's spotless, it's a nightmare that stuff. But yeah, it's pretty much, pretty much done. So, I'll get the tape and I'll put that on. Ready to put on the tape. So, um, I'm going to put the join down here. Um, on the downward edge of the slope, because up here is where most of the water is going to be trying to get in. And I'm just going to put this round and I want to. It's a wee bit tricky at the corners. I don't really want to break it up. There we go. So I'm just putting the tape on the edge. Just work around slowly and methodically. so that the two can cover each other. So, just push that in. Right 
like that, if you can see that, just so that's joined. That's pretty sealed. Right. So I'm just making sure that's really pressed in. Right. Feels good to me. Now I can take this off. Down really don't want to touch it too much, I'll take the tackiness off. And put it up to the hole. Screw this down now. That's the hatch in. What I'm going to do now is put in the four retaining screws and then put on the the actual blind and fly screen, and that should be it finished. Um, all in all, it's not a bad job. The main time is uh, to get rid of the silicon if it's been silicon then uh, that takes all the time. So it's probably taken me approximately about an hour and a half to take that out and uh, put it back in again. Um, obviously I'm not quite finished yet but it won't take long just to put that up. What I'd say is if you're using a drill be extremely careful because you will over tighten it and crack that old plastic. Uh, it's probably better to use a hand driver actually, especially for the last tighten up. Just use a wee hand driver, you can feel it better. Okay. All that's left to do is to go back out into the roof, cut off any excess that's shown at the, the edges, get rid of that, and that's the first one done. So now I'm just using this, it's very, very light. Almost just using the weight of the blade. Using a wee bit of pressure, don't do anything serious, you'll go right through your aluminium. Don't even want to score the don't even want to score the edge. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can just peel that off. So you've got that pressure just right. Go. And then, yeah, 
access. This thing's still covered in silicon. I should actually have cleaned that as well. Hopefully that's one sealed hatch. Onto the second one.